Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a, a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the sterling versus yen, so let's get started. Bank of Ch Japan's Ueda uh, came out with uh, some more hawkish comments, and that that's helped to send the yen higher, the sterling versus yen, sharply to the downside in the process. The price broke below the 200 bar moving average on this four-hour chart. You can see that in trading over the last few days, the price has been holding support against that level. Uh, but uh, the break below that level started the uh, onslaught to the downside, breaking below the 38.2% retracement, breaking below the 100-day moving average, breaking below the 50% retracement of the move up from this uh, uh, October low to the high price that we saw in the month of November, breaking below the 61.8% retracement, and finally getting to a swing area here where we finally find, found some support buyers. A swing area was defined by different uh, swing lows and swing highs going back to this uh, period right through here. The last time the time the price uh, tested this area, we found uh, buyers through here, and we found buyers through here that took the price all the way to the high price uh, seen in 2023. So moving down to this area, uh, finally put the, uh, the the halt on the decline, but it has been a trend-like move. And when you have a trend-like move, folks, what you try to look for is uh, proof that the trend is over. Until then, uh, trends are fast, directional, tend to go further when, than what traders expect. So how do I define a trend potentially being over? And I like to do that by looking at the uh, five-minute uh, chart and measuring corrective moves of trend legs. Uh, what that means is that if I uh, take a look at this uh, chart right here, we have a trend leg that goes from here to here. And then what I would like to measure is the price getting back above the 38.2 to 50% 50, 50 correction zone. That would be this area right through here. And as you can see, the price could not get up toward that level, and we restarted another trend like to the downside, this time from 182.65 down to 180.899. Now, the uh, new trend uh, correction zone comes right through here, where uh, between the 181.57 to 187.78 level. That's going to be the target that if the buyers can show that they can get above this area, it would give me some proof that they are winning. It might only be in the short term but they are winning against this trend move to the downside. And so getting and staying above the 50% retracement at 181.77 would be the uh, target that would need to get to get through. And then if we get below above that level, we look toward uh, the uh, falling 100 bar moving average on the five minute chart uh, to get above that level. If it was able to get above that level, and again, it's moving to the downside, that's why I put this line right here, that would show increased buying uh, momentum uh, and potentially lead to more short covering and end of the trend. Absent that, folks, and the sellers remain more in control in the sterling versus yen. So be aware of this area right here. If we go down and make new lows and we extend this Fibonacci down to even lower levels, and that will extend the 38.2 uh, to 50% 50, 50 correction zone uh, even further to the downside. But don't, but don't, don't lose sight of this. The sellers are more in control in the sterling versus yen, and really in all the yen cross uh, currency pairs now. Uh, be aware of that. Uh, there you have it, a look at the strong versus yen from a technical perspective, including uh, where the uh, bias may shift. But for right now, the sellers remain in control. The trend is your friend. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.